All right, this weekend, one local bowling alley is throwing a few strikes for a cause. Leisure Lanes Bowling Alley in Davenport is hosting their ninth annual Bowling for Breast Cancer event on Saturday. News 8 Shelby Kluver sat down with the owner to find out how you can raise money for local cancer patients and maybe even win a car while you're at it. And we are joined now by owner of this bowling alley, Mike Roseman. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Shelby. We're excited. All right. Friday is fast approaching. You guys have got to be feeling pretty good. We are. We uh, are all prepped uh, and ready to go. We, we, we cannot wait. It's going to be our biggest year yet. And this is year number nine? Correct. Yep. Wow. Okay. Talk to me about what the actual tournament is going to look like. Well, the tournament is three shifts of bowling all day long uh, on the 21st. All the three shifts are full right now. Uh, we've been full for about two or three weeks with a waiting list. Um, and we're going to have raffles all day. We're going to give a car away that day. Um, it's just going to be a lot of fun. So we're looking for people. We're still looking for donations. We're still selling banner raffles. Uh, and we're looking for people to come out and just support two local women. Yeah, let's talk about those women. Tell me who you're raising money for. Uh, this year, our two recipients are Heidi Benning and Elaine Gordon, uh, both of the Quad Cities. Uh, uh, one's in Davenport and one is in Buffalo. Tell me a little bit about their stories. Uh, well, both of them are local. Heidi uh, has breast cancer and Elaine has um, some sort of mouth cancer. Uh, they're both local women uh, in the Quad Cities that are basically going to uh, take 100% of this money and you know use it for what they want. We raised $6,000 uh, nine years ago. This year, our goal is $100,000. So, uh, and that's going to stay completely 100% local, 50% um, to each uh, to help with their fight. So that's that's what we're excited about is that, that it stays 100% local. Wow. So if people want to come out, if they want to help this cause, Bowling for Breast Cancer, like you said, all your bowling spots are full at the moment, but people can still come enjoy the day, maybe win some prizes, you said? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, we're going to have over 100 raffle baskets. Uh, you can come out. You can buy 50-50. Uh, Kunis Nissan of Davenport has donated a 2019 Nissan Altima that we're raffling off. Uh, we have some booze wagons we're raffling off. Um, it's, it's just going to be a lot of fun. I mean, even if you don't buy any raffle tickets or uh, just come out and support, just see the support that the community has come together to do. Wow. And I did want to ask, I mean, it's been nine years. You try to pick two people every year. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah. Uh, we tried to keep it 100% local, not necessarily people we know. Uh, people bring us the stories um, and we have a committee of people that decide on who that's going to be. And that's who we go with. And um, it's just an awesome thing to be a part of. I mean, we are so privileged just to even host it. And, and but we, we just can't wait so much for and once again you can stop by leisure lanes bowling alley in davenport this saturday from 10 to 8 there will be raffle prizes and baskets up for grabs this is the ninth annual bowling for breast cancer the alley is hoping to raise a hundred thousand dollars for those two local women we'll be right back